Hello everyone, trust you well. Welcome back to Leadership Talk with Adegoke. This is yet another episode and we're taking a deep dive into the topic leadership and delegation. Yes, leadership and delegation. Uh, delegation is one of the most critical and um, yet underutilized uh, tools in a leader's toolkit. Um, the ability to effectively delegate tasks and responsibilities is not just a time-saving measure. It's, uh, it's fundamental. So delegation is fundamental. In our leadership journey, it's um, a fundamental co- component of building a high-performance uh, team. And so let's uh, just look at why delegation is so important for leaders. When we try to do everything ourselves, uh, we become overwhelmed, burnt out, and unable to focus truly on the strategic and impactful aspects of our roles. Uh, so it's important to get that very clear that we shouldn't, uh, you know, get involved in so many activities that by the time we are done, uh, we are just burnt out and we don't really enjoy the process. So by empowering our teams and uh, to take on more, um, obviously sometimes we feel a bit reluctant because we know that we feel that they can't do it as uh, better or you know much as we can but we we free up our mental bandwidth to think the big picture and innovate provide the visionary leadership organizations need uh, when we delegate uh, but delegation isn't just about um, offloading tasks it's also a very powerful way to develop our people and build a robust leadership pipeline for the future i've um, been in leadership for quite a bit and this has really helped to upscale my, my leadership. Uh, because when we build a, a leadership pipeline, uh, then it helps in terms of succession planning. When we entrust our team members with meaningful work and give them the autonomy to solve problems uh, instead of just uh, micromanaging, we are not only getting things done, we are also uh, nurturing for the next generation of leaders. So food for thought, uh, what's your you know delegation process like? Are you doing most of the things or you're letting go and allowing others to also grow? Of course, delegation isn't as simple as that. Uh, it requires thoughtful, structured approach. And um, that's very important. First and foremost, we need to develop um, a deep understanding of our team skills. You know, what skills, did they have the right skills? Uh, so that so that you don't just delegate to the wrong people, uh, do they have uh, the interest and um, are they growing? You know, so only then can we match the right people to the right responsibilities. Uh, the next critical thing that we need to look at is that um, we we set up our team members intentionally for success. Uh, this means that we provide clear expectations because once you delegate and there are no expectations, then um, that's where the problem starts. So there must be clear expectations, deadlines, and the necessary resources to support your team. Then we need to have regular check-ins um, and constructive feedback, which is essential to ensure that the, the assignments, they stay on track. And most important of all uh, is trust. Um, Effective delegation hinges on our ability to let go and resist the urge to micromanage. As I mentioned earlier, we have to be willing to give our people uh, the space to experiment, uh, make mistakes and learn. You know, there is uh, a module that I'm licensed to teach on the John Maxwell our team. It's called Sometimes You Win, Sometimes You Learn. Uh, you know, it's so important. Um you know, uh, after all, that's how we all develop <laughs> and got our confidence and uh, capable even to take on bigger challenges as individuals. And, um, you know, you might be thinking, but what if they drop the ball? What if they drop the ball? Then they'll pick it back up and they'll grow, you know. Uh, what if the work isn't done to my standards? Well, these are valid concerns, uh, to be sure. Uh, uh, but as leaders, we need to 
weigh the risk against the substantial benefits uh, of uh, delegation. A few minor hiccups are always there uh, as leaders, and there's a small price to pay for a long-term growth of our, of our team, team uh, and also our organizations. And one important thing also is that even if a task is delegated and it doesn't go perfectly, there's an opportunity for us to model the kind of leadership you know, that we want to see. We can respond with patience, empathy, and focus on learning rather than harsh criticism. This not only helps our team members to bounce back, but also reinforces the psychological safety that is crucial for high performance. So we want to show some empathy, we want to show that we care. And, um, you know, so as we wrap up, uh, I'd like to just share a few practical tips uh, regarding the art of delegation. Number one, start small and build up. Don't try to delegate everything at once. Two, communicate clear parameters and desired outcomes, not just instructions. Number three, check in regularly, but resist the urge to micromanage. <laughs> so it's so important. Uh, number four, provide constructive feedback and celebrate small wins. Yes, small wins should be celebrated uh, as you go um, you know, through the journey of uh, leadership. And number five, um, be willing to step in you know, and correct and make the necessary corrections if, if needed. So delegation isn't always easy, but it's one of the most powerful ways we can amplify our impact as leaders by empowering our teams and cultivating the next generation of talent. And we unlock the potential for growth and success. So uh, thank you once again for joining us on this session of Leadership Talk with Adego K. We looked at uh, leadership and delegation. Uh, if you would like to... Um, you know, listen to our past podcast, please feel free to do so. And please like and share uh, this podcast to and share this podcast to as many people as possible. Have a good time. Have a good day. Thank you for listening.